Okay, today I'm going to be replacing the uh, key sheet on my Fennec uh, Zero Mate uh, controller. And basically, uh, the membranes actually wore off and uh, come apart where the keys are. And we'll get a new one and we're going to put that in today. Basically, what I'm using is just a small screwdriver. And I'm basically going in and just very carefully scraping it. Okay, I've got the main part scraped off. I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning. Then I'm actually going to go through with some solvent uh, that won't damage this front, clean out where the keys are at really good, and uh, then test fit and make sure that I'm ready before I actually remove the double-sided tape. And when we're done, we should have a new keypad here. Okay, we're just going to go over this real quick with a little bit of simple green and get it cleaned up real nice, and then we'll apply the membrane. A little bit left in the Okay, that looks pretty good. One thing you want to do when you're test fitting one of these, especially this one, uh, is that you don't have any key interference. Because if you boot this up and you have key interference, especially on this lower key sheet, uh, you can actually erase your parameters and all kinds of nasty stuff that you don't want to do. Uh, but I'm going to test fit this real quick and we're going to get this adhered here to the front. Okay, the fit's pretty much perfect. Now I'm just going to go through each key just double check and make sure that I get actuation. We look good. And the best way to apply these is to actually kind of line it up and set it all the way up in the corner um, and then apply the other side and they'll usually get it really well lined up. Okay. Just go back through and press really hard. The adhesive is uh, pressure activated. Make sure you get all of the uh, everything pressed down. Okay, now we've got a brand new uh, key sheet for the front of the uh, FANUC uh, control. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine real quick and just test operation. Uh, one thing you want to check is just that you get good press and release on all the buttons. Just give them a little workout, make sure they're going to work before you turn on the machine. Okay, the machine's up and I'm going to try the buttons. They're really uh, a lot better feel. And now I've got protection over top of these switches. And, you know, it just looks better. I actually picked this up. Uh, this is not an original Fanuc part. Uh, I actually got this online uh, from China for uh, like eight or nine bucks. Uh, well worth it. The fit and finish is actually really good. Um, and it, it works perfect. But anyway, if you have bad key sheets, uh, I do recommend if you don't, uh, haven't actually seen one, I basically ordered one just to test. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. Um, but you'll actually want to verify that they're, they're a good membrane before you actually use them. Uh, it's not worth trying to make a uh, uh, one of the cheaper knockoff membranes work if you if you place it up there and it doesn't work. Just 
you know pitch it or whatever and get the right one but this one on the uh, this is a nine inch crt uh, on an om series and uh, the vendor from china uh, this membrane works really great and it's it's, it's high quality it's as high quality as the one that was on it uh, and i've got all the functions uh, everything seems to work and work well okay that's how you replace your key sheet on your uh, Fanuc uh, Series OM 9-inch uh, CRT. Uh, they do make several of these. Some of them are larger. Make sure that you get the right part number. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.